The year is 2998 and the Earth is hopelessly polluted. Mankind's last chance for a clean planet rests in the hands of Dr. Bruford's plan to use radiation to trigger a change. Only something goes horribly wrong. Dr. Bruford is mutated and begins an evil quest for world domination. Enter the Run Sabers, cybernetically advanced humans with the raw power to level cities. As Alan use the Thunder Sword to create concussive waves of energy. As Sheena wield the Ice Sword to slam a blizzard at the Mad Doctor's forces. Team up for non-stop action that is guaranteed to put your skills to the ultimate test in this futuristic adventure saga. This is Run Saber from Horasoft, published by Atlas, released in 1993. A rare atlas platformer on the super nintendo weren't too too many of those uh let's see uh was released in north america in 93 in europe it features side scrolling fighting as two main heroes alan and sheena the run savers fight to save the planet gameplay is very similar to strider valis and some psycho dream elements as well after choosing your character you are sent off to five different levels or on a fantastical earth uh, there is a third saber, Kurtz, who is fire-based, but he is a bad guy. We can use a slash attack. We can use bombs. We have a an ability to hang from ceilings and walls, and a power jump like the screw attack of Super Metroid. In each of the five levels, there are minor bosses and one boss at the each end. Battles are noted with an alert message. In between blo bosses, you must fight hordes of enemies and collect health pickups and enhancers. Originally, the boss at the end of one of the cities was supposed to be a woman lying on her side. However, Nintendo felt that it violated their content guidelines, and so they uh, made it a woman who was dead. And that was better. Because years into the future, over polluted Earth, resources running low, uh, new chemical that will reverse the effects of pollution, colonists will settle into space to avoid the pollution, the chemical is launched, but uh, begins to horribly mutate anybody who was left. The scientists knew the effect and decided, uh, yeah, we'll just go with that. That's how that worked. We don't have any reception data. This is a kind of a rare game. Uh, not a lot of it. Not a lot of copies, I guess, were ever released. I used to have this. I wish I still did. It's a very fun game. I like the graphics. I like the music. Uh, the music is really good. The story is kind of whatever, but, you know, it is what it is. Since it's got Atlas attached to it, it can be kind of difficult. Um, but overall, it's not super long. It's got a lot of pretty good platforming action content. And uh, playing two-player is a lot of fun. Look for a Let's Play uh, in the future. I've been wanting to do it for a while. Maybe I'll get around to it uh, 2020 sometime. <laughs>